hi, hey, and all those other greetings for adventurers. I'm Jake Spins, welcoming you guys back to my gaming and unboxing channel, where today I have a very first kind of unboxing for this channel, which I'm very excited to show off to you guys. It's, uh, it's definitely been an investment, but before we get into today's investment, let me tell you about an investment that I actually started today. And uh, if you guys don't know, first off, I want to start this off by, I have a Nintendo Switch. I got this at launch. It is great. I love it. Best console ever. And, uh, you know, the, these Joy-Cons, they're, they're pretty cool. You know, these ones didn't come with the systems. These were the arms colors. But, um, here's the thing. So, recently, Nintendo has released yet another bundle. Yet another exclusive Switch being the Animal Crossing Switch. Now, the thing about this is that, you guys know, I love collecting. And I wanted the Joy-Con. But, basically, when all's said and done, long story short, you gotta get a proxy because it's only sold separately in Japan, which is so annoying because I wish I knew about the imports before and the pricing because then I would have just sucked it up and paid, you know, 20, 40 extra dollars for the Let's Go ones because now it would be cheaper to just buy the bundle because now it's like 250 for just the separate Joy-Cons when they're used and it's kind of annoying. And in fear of that, and the whole Japanese imports, and basically just accumulation of two days trying to figure things out, I bought the uh, Animal Crossing Switch. Yeah. So... I'm, I'm teetering on whether it was a good idea or not, but without telling you guys all the details, essentially, I think it was a good decision. Because uh, it is the new and improved Switch. But we are not here to talk about that investment. We are here to talk about an investment that I made uh, for my collection. Which, is it really an investment? Well, it's an investment from my wallet. Not um, for future. It's just for... Because it's pretty. And because I like collecting stuff. <clears throat> but today, on this channel. As I said, we have a first. There's a lot of firsts when you're a gamer. You have your first game, your first console, the first game that you ever remember playing with somebody else. You have the best console that you've ever played. That's really not a first one. But you guys get the point. And in that world of firsts, there's one that stands out indie gaming collector one and I cannot believe this is the first time that I am doing one of these but at the same time they're fairly expensive um this one wasn't and I spent a good three months paying it off I think it was three but uh anyway though sorry about taking so long and I actually have a tape cutter which that's gonna be fantastic but we have our first ever first four figure. Not gonna lie, I actually had to, uh, was this the one that I had to order at work? Yeah, I, I spent like so much time trying to make sure that I was able to get one of these. And I was at work when it went up for sale and I was so frustrated because I was like, I only have 15 minutes at lunch and I think I managed to get it while eating. And uh, thankfully, it's here now. And it's actually the exclusive version, which is really, really cool. Because you know me, I, I want to get the best of the best. But at the same time, sometimes it's just not possible. And with first four figures, it's extremely... English? Question mark? But, uh, it's extremely limited, so we definitely got lucky, and oh gosh, I've only used this at work, so I want to be careful. Weirdly enough, because it's, it's a tape cutter, so if I, like, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything more 
but it's not going to hurt me. But I do have to still be careful because it still can rip cardboard and uh, gloves. So, <laughs> you know, but it's a lot nicer than just prying my finger in there and just hoping it'll work. Because, uh, you know, that's always a fun one. Oh, and it's a, it's a box in a box. And there's styrofoam, so I'm going to mute that for you guys because uh, it's going to be squeaky. Oh, or not. Or I guess we can just have some some cube ears. No? What about some striker shoulder pads? Yeah. Look at that. If I move my shoulder to poke somebody in the eye with soccer, it's going to launch, though. <laughs> what a launch. Well, I hit myself with that one, so I guess it wouldn't be great in Strikers. But anyway, though, here you can see it is a Luigi's Mansion 3 box. I know, guys, I'm excited. My first four figures ever is from Luigi's Mansion, and I know I'm recording this before <laughs> I'm uploading the first episode, and this is probably going to go up because it's going up this Sunday, which is why I'm recording it right now. Um, it's probably going to go up before the first one, but trust me, I've not forgotten about Luigi's Mansion 3 is coming. I actually have the uh, first episode done, and it's a pretty long one, so it hopefully will make up for everything about taking such a long time. And it is a co-op, so that makes it even more exciting. I have a, I have a tape cutter, and I always cut almost everything and then there's this one tiny little part and I never I never cut that part I always just like I'm like I can I can pull that <laughs> I can I can rip it oh my gosh okay I appreciate the packing oh I saw the green on the packing and I thought it was wrapped in a Ziploc bag and I was like this is a pristine thing that cost me a good like hundred dollars and I'm holding it like that that's even more telling but um and it's going to come packaged like that. But the non-exclusive version came with just Luigi. Alright. This guy, however, comes with Luigi and Culture Pop. And oh boy, this box is already so good. It looks like it's from the game too, guys. Like, look at this. This looks like a mansion book that you would see. And the figure already looks so good. And that's just a picture. That's a picture, guys. That's what we're going to see. All right, this is the exclusive edition. This is the 9-inch PVC painted statue. And people are probably going to freak because I'm not handling this with as much care as I should be. How long does this go, by the way? It's still going. It stopped. But it... this isn't like the elevator in the game. <laughs> you have to keep going. Come on. Don't make me get the elevator button. Why is it still going? Wait, I see the end. I see, I see the end. I feel the end. There we go. Okay, we got to the end. So let's see what's actually in here so far. Um, now, these are actually going to be very important. So this is an authentication card, which I did not know was a thing. I'm not going to show the code just in case. But it says authentication card to register your officially licensed product and to obtain the full benefit, please. Oh, that's kind of neat. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, so, yeah, please nobody try to take that from me. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to make sure it's kind of like a credit card, but that's pretty cool. And then what's this card for? Oh, it's like a like an exclusive it's just showing it's like a credit card guys sorry the lighting is uh is unfortunately not that great so i'm gonna have to do stuff like this but it's just showing the figure and then on the back you have the actual mansion so that's pretty neat and then what is this okay this is just a sticker saying it's the signature edition so that in and of itself is pretty good oh and this lifts yo this goes in a lift Wait, is there another box? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like the box in a box in a box in a box. 
I mean, I appreciate the protection for this, but so many boxes. And this is number 1,940. So when I say I lucked out on this, I think there was only like 2,000 of these available. So the fact I got that high on the thing. Now, granted, if you get like a, a first print of it, that's something you don't want to open. Um, would I have still opened it? Probably. Oh my god. Can we not with the elevator buttons? It's been 10 minutes. <laughs> open! Ah, I'm getting impatient. Now I know how everybody feels when they get this. We did this to our mom the one day, but it was only three boxes. You gotta get through the tissue paper. It's almost like a warning sign, like a calling sign to just stop opening it because you want to keep it pristine but we go all the way guys here we go here is the box collect the line oh well i guess technically if we got the original that would be all the line but <laughs> i don't need to do that just like the one plush which i'll probably get the plush but not for the figure because i mean it's the same figure just not as Puppy. Huh. Luigi Mansion puns. Anyway, though, now, instead of being like, oh, let's open up the tape. Oh, no, I just cut the box. Don't worry, I didn't actually cut the box. That was me saying for every anime figure video. Trust me, if you go to any of those, I probably there's probably a clip of me saying just like that. Oh, no, I cut the box. And again, I, I did not. <laughs> I, I will say, though, I am better at opening this, and this box is better than stalling than I have ever been. But come on, don't make this difficult. Don't make me rip you. I don't want to. I'm really not trying to. I just need you to open. Oh, hey, that side was nice. Hello. Hello. Oh, wow, that smells like fresh paint. Woo! I guess that's how you know it came straight from the factory. They know, guys. They're like... <laughs> get, that, get that fresh paint life. Okay, so how do I open this up? Because there's this cardboard. Oh, you just slide that open, too. Okay, cool. Sorry, I've legitimately never done one of these, and it's such a big figure, too. I'm a little nervous. I'm nervous. Oh, and it looks like there's some other stuff in here that I'm gonna need to look at really quick. Wait, is this a is this a plug? Yo, it lights up. I think I I knew that, but for some reason I didn't realize that. Dude, that's gonna that's gonna be really epic. And then what is what is this? What is what is? Come on, let me grab it. This, oh, it's it's a little pamphlet. It's a it's a menu thing. Yo, five hundred reward points. Let's go, man. Oh my god, you guys are just too kind. I would I would love to get the Mario and Yoshi one, but um, yeah, they ain't gonna happen. Wait, there's a oh, it's a diorama background. Yo, that's wicked! Oh, that's really cool. Am I gonna do that? Probably not. <laughs> because I just like the box. But, uh... Yo, that's pretty neat. Oh, and I almost forgot about... Oh, no! It's it's stuck in there! Okay, it's not. It was just me being a derp. But that's okay. USB. Yeah, this is... This is stalling, guys. <laughs> but we actually have it. Oh my gosh! I mean, I think they're notoriously known for doing stuff like this. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. I hope you guys can see this, because this was definitely worth it. Alright, I definitely need to put batteries in. I'm so nervous, guys. You guys know when, when you see the people on award shows, and they're holding something, and you know it has some heft to it, and it's very important, and they're just very nervous. They're like, I'm so scared I'm going to drop this thing because of how it feels. And I don't want to drop it because 
that would stink. And actually, what I'm gonna do, can I do this? Mm, I don't know if I can. All right, there we go, guys. Yeah, I, I know, I'm not, <laughs> not as prominent now, but hey, that's probably a good thing because look at this glory. Um, I probably won't be able to light it up because as I said, you do need batteries. But at the same time, we might be able to because you might not need them. So, because you also have this cord here, so you never, you never know. But before we start getting into the nitty gritty of that, let's actually look at this. So first things first, you've got the Luigi being very scared pose with his Poltergust G00 on the back. You thought this was a duo figure. No, it's actually a trio figure because in the Poltergust, you actually have the green kind of like what I would imagine for an inkling first four figure would look like. You actually have Guiji right there in the tank. He is with you at all times to help you out, even when you're not in co-op. He's there for you. All right, Luigi, so no need to be scared. But the flashlight itself looks pretty cool, and I'm wondering if for Luigi, if that lights up. I'm going to see if I can try to get this to work on camera, because that would be pretty cool. But uh, the flashlight itself has a nice silver shine to it. Looks very good, and I want to be very careful not to touch anything, because fingerprints. You've got this whole entire metal cord going into the vacuum, which this is the me mechanism that changes from the flashlight, the vacuum, the plunger, so on and so forth. Looking at Luigi himself, there's a few details that you might not be able to see, such as the fact that he has the Odyssey rendering. If you don't know what I'm talking about, trust me. I'm sure you guys do, because in Odyssey you can see every single nice little mustache hair that's on Mario. Of course, I say that right after I shaved, so that joke doesn't really work as much. But hey, to be fair, um, it's Luigi's mustache to dive about. But even though to you guys it looks like just a regular black stash, there are those very tweaked fine lines, which it's also like that for the back of his head with um, the brown, so that looks pretty good. So his eyes, being very worried, they actually have a glossy feel on them, like a glossy texture, which it looks really good. It looks like they took like an image of the rendered eye and just slapped it right onto him. It's got all the lines, all the gradient, and it just looks very good and very realistic. His ears have a lot of depth, um, which might sound a little weird, but in Mario games, for the ears, they have this kind of like circle in a circle type of look. And it just looks very, very nice. It's just one of those things that adds to the cartoony aesthetic of Mario himself. So going into the gloves, it kind of reminds me a little bit of when I'm doing the plush where I'm like, look at all these different materials. But it's kind of like that for a figure with all these textures in it. Luigi's gloves have all of these lines. You can see, well, at least I can see, it has like a bump map type of a rough texture. It's got all of the dots there, and I cannot believe they got all of those grooves in there. It's like they took an X-Acto knife, and they just very slightly just brushed it up there, and it's so cool. And I think because these are so limited, they're probably hand-painted. I don't actually know myself because, again, I've never had one of these, but the first thing that I smelled when I took this out, it smelled like fresh paint. So that's my guess, to be honest with you. So going from the gloves, another good thing to mention because you guys can't see the texture as well on this camera, unfortunately, is actually the, um, the straps of the Poltergust. So they're a nice milk chocolatey brown. So far, all the colors, very correct. And uh, I didn't realize, but his skin is like spot on. 
super, super vibrant, which is really cool. But the straps themselves have this kind of line detail that you guys would see in, like, again, Mario Odyssey. I don't know if Luigi's Mansion actually has these details, which would make this figure even more impressive in that matter of fact. Um, but it has those stitch lines to it. Goes to the backpack, and it looks very nice. The Poltergust has all of its details. As I said, you do have Gooigi. You have the exit valve, which I can get a good look at. Kind of looks like if you guys have ever seen the bottom of like a jetpack engine. Except instead of this one going, it goes. That probably didn't sound nearly as accurate, but hey, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm not an impressionist for a reason. Um, and something I noticed by looking very intently at this figure by going very in depth. Okay, I almost just poked my nose on his hat. But you've got these nice little texture lines, and I'm sure if I like, oh, it's got that groove feel. It's got that groove feel. And that's really cool. Like, it actually, they went so in depth to make it where the, te the fabric of the hat and the clothes, it actually is accurate to that. And for the overalls, I'm assuming. No, the overalls do actually have it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm probably freaking so many people out. They're probably like, don't touch it. Stop doing that. It's so bad. This is your first ever collector's item. What are you doing? <laughs> Not only did you open it, but you're putting your filthy handprints on it. Gah. Um, yeah, I know. I'm partially annoying myself <laughs> by doing that too. But, um... Let's see if I can get a good look at the buttons. His hands are covering them, but believe it or not, they do have not only gold buttons, but shiny gold buttons. I'm sure if light was reflecting on them, you could really see that shine. It would bounce right back on you, and you'd be like, yep, those, those buttons. <laughs> it's kind of a thing. And not only that, not sure if you guys will be able to see it just because of how the lighting is, but, um... Right, okay, I can't do that. But right there, there's actually his pockets, which also have the buttons as well. And let me just check something really quick. Okay, yeah, that gives you guys a little more ease to be able to see. Now, I know I'm like really ridiculous looking right now. Trust me, eventually we'll change it. But who knows, maybe this is more of like a Luigi's Mansion, Mario Maker horror type of scene. You know? Looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, now you can actually see the buttons and the pockets. If you look very closely, I can see them right on there, which is pretty, pretty good. Now, of course, the stuff like the shine, you really can't see as much. And something that I keep looking at that I keep neglecting to mention is Luigi's mouth. Now, not only does Luigi have the best dentist in the world, like, freaking look at those pearly whites. Not a single chip, not a single yellow one, none of them are missing. I mean, Wario has all molars, so they gotta have a pretty good dentist, am I right? But not only does he have a good dentist, there's actual depth to his mouth. Like, it's... There's so many figures that, you know, anime figures, they go in depth. They do pretty good, and, you know, they have that tiny little thing of the mouth sometimes. Sometimes it's a painted thing. Uh, for the eyes, it's more of like, you know, it just looks like, you know, it's just a regular painted on thing. But here, it looks like Luigi just jumped out. I could say so many things, but if you looked at a render of Luigi... You essentially have the exact same thing, which is amazing and super, super cool. I just, the fact that somebody actually sat here, not, not in this chair, not in this room, but they sat somewhere and they said, you know what, we can make a Luigi's Mansion figure and make it look fantastic, spot on, and they actually did it, is just wild to me. And I know that they have way more impressive figures than this, 
But I'm starting to understand now, as I'm having this, why these cost so much. Because they don't just go out on a whim and say, here's this thing, and they don't really go that in depth. You know, the Amiibo, $12, $15, is what you'd expect for the price. They're really good quality. But putting like a $15 thing on this, you'd be robbing them blind. <laughs> like, I'm almost wondering how many hours they put into working on this. And we haven't even talked about Poulter Pup either, which before I do that, I just realized his shoes are shiny. Not only do you have a good dentist, you have a good freaking shoe buffer, man. Like, Kick's coming to your door, and he's shining those shoes. I appreciate it. I love it. Now, I feel like we've covered Luigi pretty much. I love it. I really love it. So let's talk about Poulter Pup for a little bit. Now, this lighting's probably not the best for him, so let's, uh, let's convert it back. I know you guys are pretty much looking at the, the same thing, but... Alright, there we go. Alright, so that should be a little bit better. Um, not that you'd be able to see it, but it's, it's more of like a transparent type of paint. Now, the reasoning why is because all of the light is going to be coming from Poulter Pop. I'm assuming the flashlight will also have this, but most of it is going to come from his whole entire body, which is really awesome because it's a ghost glow. So that's just like, oh my gosh, it's really cool. And there is a lot less to go through with Poulter Pup, but the fact that he's such a simple designed character, but they still went in and made sure that the, the like little eye divots and the nose and the mouth, all of it, it looks like Poulter Pup. It looks proper. And sure, the plush, I believe, had some of that. And the plush of Poulter Pup is really, really great. But it doesn't have that ghosty aesthetic. And I don't think it has the divots as this does. Um, it might, I might be wrong. It's been a while since I've done that. If you guys want, you can let me know. But I also have it in my room, so I can check that doesn't really matter and uh the only other detail on him other than that his tongue he always has his tongue sticking out because this guy he's a happy happy ghost dog he don't care if he's dead he's got a great pal right here and you know the best part about poach pup luigi will have him forever you know how wholesome that is like he doesn't have to worry about anything happening to poach pup and i know that you know Poochie, Yoshi doesn't have to worry about because Yoshi's a dinosaur and he's still alive. So, you know, Mar Mario species, they, they don't die, thankfully. But uh, just saying, if Luigi's life followed more normal physics by like 5%, he's, got, he's lucky. He's very lucky because he's got Poke Pop there. If, you know, if his remote drops in the in the couch, he doesn't have to go fishing for it. He can just have Poulter Pup go through the couch, grab the remote, come up through the sea, and not only give it to him, but lay next to him and just take a nap. Like, this, this dog, he works. This is why he sticks around. And Luigi, he, he just needed a companion. So... Anyway, though, um, so the rest of him, you've got the tail and you've got the collar, which the collar also does have its, uh, its gold medallion type of dog. Medallion? Really? It's a dog tag. <laughs> Come on. But, um, looks pretty good. And something I've been wanting to mention so much is the fact that behind Fold Pup on the rug, they put... Little ghost paw friends. Ah! Which in Luigi's Mansion 3, they have this whole entire system where Poulter Pup is actually a helper character and will tell you, yo, hey, stupid. <laughs> At least sometimes that how, that's how it feels. Trust me. 
once you see the first episode, you'll understand why I'm making that joke. But uh, he has those tiny little paw prints that you can have. And it's also in Dark Moon as well. And, you know, his ghostly gong through the wall. But the fact that they actually went and made sure to put that in there is so spot on. So cool. So crisp. And not only that, they didn't just put them on a base. They put them on, sure, it's a generic hallway in Luigi's Mansion 3. But they went through the actual trouble to make it look like they're on the wooden floor, on the carpet, walking side by side in the actual mansion. And the carpet has texture, but not only does it have texture, it droops over it like it's ending. And on here, it actually lumps up. And that that is very possible because in the game, ghosts could either grab it and go like that and just fling you over and you have to kind of like jump up with your with your podcast or you could just blow the rug away and roll it forward or you know roll it back type of thing so who knows what could be behind luigi and Paul pop they could be seconds seconds from actual trauma now let me stop showing you this dog butt so i don't get Mom's <laughs> um, but anyway, that's pretty much it. But before we go, I do want to try to figure out if I can show this lit up. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. All right, let's turn. I believe if we turn down the contrast or up the contrast no i don't think because it's a bright it's a white bright light so yeah sorry guys it doesn't really matter what i do it's a giant ball of white light so either way you're not going to really see him that much but my theory was correct the flashlight over here as you can see it does actually light up which is really cool, and it's a more dim flashlight. But not only that, it gets cooler because Guigi also brings some flair to this figure in lighting himself up right there and also these little side divot things for the figure. If this wasn't a cool enough figure already, they made it 10 times cooler by deciding to A, Add Pulch Pup, and I'm so glad I got this version. And B, making it light up. Yes, you did a good thing, first four figures. I love it. I'm probably going to go back and buy more of this because this is fantastic. Now, I do want to mention something about Pulch Pup. You guys, yeah, you definitely can't see anything of him. He's just a ball of light. So I just kind of have to... Um, but essentially, all the light is coming from the front of him, whereas it's actually dim on the paws, front and back paws, as well as the back. So there's absolutely no light on the tail end or the back that's hiding up, which I believe is because the light is probably somewhere in the center around where the collar is. Alrighty, guys, so there you have it. There is the Luigi's Mansion first four figures. I think it's really cool. I believe it was around $100. Um, this edition is probably sold out. I'm not sure. But if possible, if I have the money, I would love to definitely get more. There was that whole uh, Sonic with the Gold Post. I probably can't get the light up one because uh, it's been a while. If the uh, Sonic 3 one of Sonic and Tails, if that one wasn't like $600, I would get that. But now thinking about it, because of how detailed and scenic it is, which it's weird, the exclusive one that's on fire and the one that's not because it's Mushroom Hill, um, it's, the, it's the same price. It's kind of weird. Um, but it... 
I mean, it looks really good. And seeing this, I'm understanding the level of detail that is probably on that figure and why it is that. Again, you guys cannot see the whole entire depth that is on this figure. It's, it's a lot. And I'm not going to lie, I am a little bit tired. Um, and the whole Animal Crossing Switch thing, which I didn't mean to buy it. I really didn't, but I did. Um, that's kind of thrown me off. But I needed to end the day on an amazing victory. I mean, getting a, another Switch is kind of a victory. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Sorry about the whole box in a box in a box thing. I did not know that was going to happen. But uh, hopefully, this isn't too bad to add it, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed it anyway. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Share this out with everybody known love. Brother, mother, sister, father, iguana. Let me know if you guys have any first four figures of anything. Because it would be really cool to know um, what you guys have if you do have anything. And if not, let me know what you would love to get or what you would love to see a first four figures being made of. Of course, I would love to get some of the other Mario ones. The Mario Riding Yoshi one is really, really freaking cool. But unfortunately, I think it's actually another one that is a fair amount of money. So it's probably not going to happen. Especially since I just paid $300 for something else. So, you know, there's is that. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, though, guys, I'm going to stop stalling as much as the first four figure box and let you guys go. All right. Keep toes safe. And I'd say your light's on, but I don't feel like picking this up to turn the light on. And I don't feel like getting up to turn the light off. And it's an expensive figure, so I don't want to pick it up and shove it in the camera. So this is just your mini little outro thing that we do in every unboxing. It's longer than 20 minutes. <laughs> Not 20 minutes, 20 seconds. <laughs> Jeez, spins. Okay.